Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and we got two refrigerators that are not cooling properly at about 60 degrees in here. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. So on that thermometer we got about 60 degrees. Seems about right. We do have airflow, so our fans are running. Here's our thermostat. And it's set to about 30 degrees, so we're way off. We'll move on from here. System, the condensing unit is downstairs. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so here are the two condensing units. We got one of two operating right now. Uh, it's hard to see, but we got bubbles in the side glass on this one. Suction line is sweating, so let's get a pair of gauges on here. This one seems like it might be low on the refrigerant. This is a water cooled setup. Here's the strainer. Definitely gonna want to take a look at that before making any decisions. Some water regulating valve. Uh, this is hooked up to a cooling tower. This is the water cooled condenser. As well, but this might have been a conversion, it looks like. All right, this fan just started, and this compressor just started. I believe so. Let's check it out. All right, as soon as I opened up this king valve, we got liquid refrigerant shooting out back down there. That's not good. This is an R22 system. And our back pressure is at 70 pounds. It's a bit high. Definitely gonna wanna check out these strainers. And this thing has a leak on it. I can't even really check head pressure on that one. That's not good. I can't check head pressure on that one. And then for this one, Here's our high side. So let's start with one at a time. So that valve over there on that liquid receiver is leaking as soon as you open it. I'm gonna see if I could possibly tighten the packing. I'm not sure that's gonna go because as soon as I opened it a little bit, boom, a whole shot of liquid came out. You get burned like that. Uh, got a 70 pound back pressure so it doesn't seem to be too low actually and our suction line is sweating there's our liquid line uh, I'm curious to see what the condition of the strainer is like and we're gonna take it from there since I couldn't get that reading I figured I might as well check pressure on this one at that what's that 20 pound back pressure what kind of compressor is this I gotta look up the model to see oh it says right here R22 that's a leak on this one this one is low on refrigerant this one seems all right but the uh, pressure is high all right turned off the power Inlet, outlet. Close that off. I can pull this strainer. Nowhere to drain, so we're just gonna have to pull this and let it drain.
Got a bunch of mud in this strainer. Let's clean this up. All right, so while I'm here, pull this one too. pretty dirty all right so we're just gonna wash this out there's a decent amount of sediment in here now that is clean you can see right through them all right so these caps have gaskets so I'm just gonna push this back in actually I'm gonna have it on here first and just close that up and do the same for the other side lock it down gonna open up the water and check for leaks we have no leaks and then we can move forward here is the water regulating valve it is this when the spring is pushed down the pressure goes up so maybe we could even adjust this and we could get our pressures a little better here is a wireless temperature probe and let's see what kind of temperatures we have I'm very curious about the suction line so right off the bat we dropped 10 pounds on the low side I know we dropped high pressure, we got such a difference on the low side. Unfortunately, that valve is leaking, but 60 pound back for R22 sounds about right. Not 70 pounds. All right, so according to this, we have a 70 degree suction line with a 60 pound back. That don't sound right. You know, with a lot of these R22 systems, a lot of guys come in here and they start dumping other types of similar refrigerants inside here. And we got a problem there. Let's give this a few more minutes, Let's see what we get down to. All right, so we have a 61.7 back pressure with a 70 degree suction line that's not cold at all we have a high superheat that 35 degrees and we do have bubbles in the site class indicating that we are a bit low so between superheat and that seems like we need more refrigerant to get this line colder uh, this is the liquid line i would want to check to see the difference between the filter dryer see if there's a large difference if so that would need to be replaced and i do have this on here but i don't have it open because i'm it's, it's leaking crazy amount of refrigerant and that would make sense that we do need refrigerant as that does leak heavily i got one temperature clamp on the outside of the filter dryer and one on the inside and we got a good 6.3 degrees that's quite a difference on that filter dryer i would like to replace that but top off of refrigerant would be nice probably get this suction line colder all right so we're going to do the proper thing here my final diagnosis is going to be we need to replace that 
king valve but the issue with that is that it's actually connected to the receiver so we got to change the receiver change the filter dryer because we have a very large temperature difference it's definitely restricted there's moisture in the system and install somewhere on the high side where we can read high side pressure and really pull a good vacuum in here and then it is a little bit low on refrigerant and you know we're gonna do our pressure testing and all that kind of stuff if there's a leak then we gotta search for it but if everything's good and it's just this issue right here uh, then we're gonna then we can top off the system and put the correct amount of refrigerant you know this does look really bad I would like to have everything in this control panel to do the right thing but that's what we're gonna do here and for this one uh, there is uh, a large leak in here as there's barely any refrigerant in the system so we're going to come here to um, remove and recover the rest of the refrigerant in here charge it up with nitrogen pressurize it search and repair that leak and then get this back up and going so that's how i'm going to approach this and if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time